The weather isn't just impacting the Indy 500. It could have a big impact on travel this holiday weekend. News Nation's Alicia Nieves is live at Newark Liberty International Airport in New Jersey. Alicia, how are the airlines preparing to handle possible delays and cancellations among this record-setting travel weekend when we're talking about, what, 40 million people traveling for the holiday? Yeah, 44 million people is kind of the closer estimate there. The reality is airliners are having to contend with possible delays and cancellations today related to the weather, but then they're also still dealing with the delays and cancellations that we have seen over the past few days. Nationwide, we have seen anywhere from 6,000 to 8,000 flights canceled or delayed every single day since Thursday. That means some of the people behind me here at this airport trying to check in and checking in at airports around the country are still trying to get to their Memorial Day destinations. Now, a bit frustrated, likely a bit concerned uh, that they actually may still not even get there. And that's because, as you mentioned, we're expected to see more severe weather. Uh, current impacts of that weather, we actually have a map, a misery map from Flight Aware that talks about or, excuse me, shows uh, that there are 88 cancellations and or sorry, 88 delays and three cancellations as of just 5 a.m. this morning. Most of those da in Dallas, Fort Worth, uh, seeing those delays and cancellations there. That's followed by Boston International, Chicago, O'Hare, and then Newark, where we are at. You can see on that flight aware map uh, that there are storms in the Midwest that you mentioned uh, being in the forecast. We haven't seen any delays there yet, but that is actually where the greatest threats are for delays and cancellations uh, that's predicted. And as the day develops, that's more and more likely. Specifically, airports and flights into or going out of St. Louis and Indianapolis. Throughout the country, though, passengers say, despite our reporting for the last couple of days, they didn't expect or plan for just how many people would be traveling this weekend. Again, you mentioned it, was, it has been historic, but also didn't expect severe weather adding another layer to their travel turmoil. I just wanted to get out of town. Um, I wasn't, I didn't know it was going to be this busy, to be honest. So I probably would have got here earlier. And nationwide, it is planned to have about 50,000 flights fly out today. However, if we see the same or similar severe weather that we have seen over the last couple of days, it is likely that up to 10% of those flights could be canceled or delayed today. Nick? Ooh, and Alicia, you and I both know that's going to anger some people. So we'll just keep an eye on things and wish and hope for the best. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.